Welcome back to the Iron Dojo. I am a slightly disheveled Iron Lambro, and this is the Mojo Dojo episode two. We got a lot of topics this week. Oh, my hair is, is getting out of control. You ready to see how many overheads you can throw with Eno and see if her combos are more towards plus R and Tezato stuff, yo. Everybody's ready for that Strive Beta. I'm ready for that Strive Beta. I mean, assuming that I don't get knocked out by the vaccine, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play regardless of how the vaccine makes me feel. Come at me, bros. Come at me and pick on me when I'm weak and see if I can still win. It's gonna be a good time. But yo, we got we got a lot to talk about. I, I put up the gorilla. Put up the gorilla cushion in the back, yo. He's a yoy. Can he's a yoy triple overhead and do like high low mix ups off an aerial dash? Because Eno could do that. <laughs> Eno could do that. Lambro cosplaying gorilla. I, you know, I need a gorilla t shirt. I only have one Winston shirt. But, anyways, we got some topics this week. We're gonna start off with some Twitter, Twitter clips. We got some Twitter clips that I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna cut the music real fast. So, as you guys, some of some of you guys know, the uh, the character video for Angie Mito came out last night, and Juna had this to say: "Is it any of yours? Is never any of yours?" All right. So Juna had this to say, and I, I love this. No Hakobi. Angie's forward wall, avoiding the new spin the wind move. The distance Angie travels. It's like I've seen this before. You hold the button down. <laughs> there it is. My favorite reaction. Jeff Gorilla, my favorite one. I use this all the time. Yeah, I was like, yo, you know, it's my spirit animal right here. I appreciate it. Um, and then, like, one of my favorite comments from this after I saw that was was this shit. How to survive a gorilla attack? And I was like, ah, that's good. That's good. That's fantastic. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. The next thing I wanted to show you guys, and I know some of you guys hate grapplers. You know, not, not necessarily this group that's with us right now, but I know some of you guys hate grapplers. So I wanted to show this like sick clip I, um, I stumbled across across uh, on Twitter over the weekend. So let's check this shit out. All right, so we have Iori versus Zangief in CVS1. All right, so he, he is in S group, so he can use supers over and over again, just like Terry. All right, so he's baiting him. He's doing the super. He's giving himself space. Charges up again. Can I play some Yuri? That's like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know he could charge from that fucking long. All right, he's in. Oh, he's not. He's not finishing his plate. All right, he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lame it out. I'm, I'm run away from this shit. All right, down to the wire. All right, can he lame him out? He's at the corner. He's, ah! God, damn. Anyways, buff grapplers. Grapplers need it. All right, so I I was super hyped from that. You know, love to see some Iori Yagami gameplay. All right, all right, all right. If, if that doesn't get you excited, this should get you excited. This was going around. Apparently, fighting game commercials are back. Fighting game. Did I see the ad? I mean, of course I did, but we gotta see the ad first. I because I know some of you guys did not see this Japanese, <laughs> this Japanese Guilty Gear ad, and it's something else. It's different. It hits different. It's 134k view. I did not see the X Art one. Is it on TV? No, in Japan, I think. Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear! <laughs> Look at this shit. They place the smell of the game. They got Mr. Yamada. That girl's not even playing. She's just clutching a pillow. <laughs> Guilty Gear Strive. What a hype ass commercial. Why don't we have why don't we have fighting game commercials anymore? That was so good. Like they, they look so happy. Hold on. Let's see those happy ass faces again. Look at them! Look at how happy they are. This one chick in the middle is like, ooh, what you got there? And she's like, I am a little possessed. And she's just like, ooh, that's a little embarrassing. But this one, this one, this lady in the middle, she's she's totally into it. <laughs> All right. The, the, the video producer, I love Alex. Um, I, I don't want to butcher his last name, but the Alex M. Yeah, that does music uh, production. He's amazing. He's amazing. Yo, Coefficient is in a commercial. Was that Coefficient? 
I don't think I ever seen his face. I just seen like his videos. Normally, the videos I came the, the videos I came across like what you're taught. Can you link it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link it, link it here. Part, part, part of this interactive thing is I can like check out shit that you guys could post. As long as you know it's not gonna get me banned. As long as I still post this on YouTube afterwards. I mean, uh, anyway, you saw Soul do his low into heavy slash. What? Oh, heavy slash into heavy slash. Yo. Or are you tripping? No, 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 no. I, I, I did that. That was the first combo we learned on this channel. We're so bad guy. All right, so we're gonna wait to see if Metallics. All right, let me check that link real fast. We're gonna assume it's safe. Alex Mutala, yeah, that guy. No, he's great. He joined Coefficient's Disco last night. Funny enough. Nice. Is there anything good there? All right. All right, so we, we, we got. Streamer breaking his own rule, not like this. I mean, Metallic's never posted anything inappropriate in the chat. You know, I trust the fella. I also see what he posts on Discord. It's just struggle tweets. So like, you know, if, if anything, this is gonna be a sad clip. All right, got real low wrestle. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I remember this shit. Oh shit, yeah. You guys won't believe the mix up here. You guys won't believe what the mix. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know they dubbed it over like that. I did see this clip floating around. So yeah, thank thank you so much for sharing that. Definitely worth. I appreciate it, man. What is this? That that was a Chip X Hard mix ups, and the guy doing the same fucking thing over and over again. All right, so we saw the commercial. We got hyped for it. Uh, just just blowing him, he'll melt. It's true. If, if you just sneeze at Chip a little bit too hard, the wind gets a little too strong. Chip, Chip Zanip for die. All right. Next thing. So some of you guys, some of you guys uh, might have seen this. You guys know that Eno, relatively popular character, right? You know, it's a popular character. And traditionally, one of her wind poses, she would take off her jacket and fling it on her back. And you, you get to see... You know, her side boob, exactly. We get, we get some side boob back. I'll pull that up for you guys. So this is what the Guilty Gear fandom is is used to. Alright? This is what the Guilty Gear fandom is used to. She had this in X2, she had this in X art, right? You get real hype for it. People are not hyped for jorts and, and legs from Axel here. They're hyped for the side boob for Eno. And you know, I, I heard some people are getting mad about Eno's new wind pose. We're gonna watch her new wind pose here. All right, we're gonna play this shit. Boom. No more side boob. We're gonna, we're gonna pause that shit. She is still taking off the jacket and throwing it to, to her back. But now she has a little dress shirt action going on here. I like the dress shirt action. You know, it looks cool. Um, I love her new costume, to be honest. Yo, eSports, right? Damn, you was talking about this once in chat? You got your message deleted, were you? Were you? But we got the eSports e uh, pose. She has to cross her arm like this for the esports pose, right? She has a top under her jacket like a normal person. Oh wait, Lambo, you found it. What do you, what do you find? Is it safe for humanity? <laughs> but yeah, I, I I think some people got upset about this, but but I don't know if they're actually upset about this. You know what I mean, Chad? It's like is it fake outrage? Is it fake outrage? Oh, is this the original? This, this, oh! Right, hold on, I, 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 I gotta cut the music. It's Guilty Gear again. You gotta watch, you gotta watch up the sound. Oh, uh, we got Slayer. Born son of the, right, son of Bear. Oh, oh my god, that's damage. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Is that it? He's still dizzy? Ooh! Ooh. Oh my god, I wish my Slayer did that much damage. Holy shit. You're happy for your overheads? You, you get like four overheads. You get like the most privileged overheads. So like, lab, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... So this shit, someone modded the game so that they could see the front side of this picture. And I, and I can't show that here. Unfortunately, I cannot show the modded picture of this, but they modded the game to turn the Eno model around so that it's this sprite 
and you know what? She has no nipples. Like, you know, it, it was the most horrific thing I have ever seen. I, I can't share that here. But if you look for it on the internet, it's, it exists. It's out there. Don't put it on my Discord. Why I stop there? Just her outfit off completely. Yeah, she she has uh, she she has no matching set. I mean, she's symmetrical, but yeah. Anyways, we're, we're gonna move on from this topic. So the next thing I wanted to talk about, not taking off your jacket or whatever. Um, yeah, no, no, it was it was absolutely horrifying. For your own sake, don't look it up. She has no shortage of Rule Thirty Four. It's it's true. And if you guys don't know what Rule Thirty Four is, you know, keep being innocent. It's great. I, I support that. Uh, so the next, you, can you get your guitar? Oh, oh, did, did I put that up? Did I put that up? I did not put that up. Hold on, let, let me pull it up for you guys. So instant kill is dead. I don't know what happened to my link. Okay, this is it. I don't know what happened to my link, but uh, apparently I didn't pull it up. But instant kills are gone. Turns out her megalomania move, megalomania. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, that's, that's not an instant kill anymore. It's it's not it's not instant kill anymore. Uh, it's deconfirmed, so we're gonna see what megalomania looks like in this game. Oh, there's no music. Okay. Anyway, so her wings bust out. All right. Then she gets wimpy. Wimp. Oh, the the bear the bear was hype, but we're gonna watch it again. But she gets this wimpy uh, version of her instant kill before it used to just flood the screen and slap the shit out of them like some sort of Dragon Ball. Uh, super move, but yeah, it, it's gone. E e Eno already nerfed. No, no instant kill. No massive notes. Yeah, it's a beautiful startup. Her wings show up and everything, looking like a Sephiroth-looking motherfucker. But um, stereo speakers come out her back, and a lot of build up for a very disappointing. Maybe you can ex boost this, right? Maybe, maybe you could use your full bar, and it looks crazier because they did that in X Hard. They had that in XArt, and it was pretty impressive then, where you just spend the EX bar, uh, you press dust at the same time, and it becomes a more powerful version. And I think Ramley Fall still has that, so it, it might still be in there. It might still be in. Alright, so we talked about that. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, and this, this surprised me too. So as some of you guys may know, I play a little bit of Tekken from time to time, and I wasn't aware one of the players... Um, one of the most famous Tekken players, Chanel. Uh, he is stealing my look, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. I did this look first. I've been rocking this look since quarantine, beginning of quarantine, a little bit before. Like this bearded Asian guy is distinctive. You guys are gonna recognize me. Any Asian guy with like a gold tee and long hair and a man bun, that's Lambro. But because this guy is more famous than me, he's gonna claim the look, and it's not right, Chat. It's not right. All right, so here we go. Here we go. This is this is Chanel, the famous Tekken player. He's playing Eliza here. I'm gonna clip clean up a little bit. Look at him! Look at this man! Look at this man! That's me! Except he's ripped! Look at look at that flex! I, yeah, I wish I was that big guy. You know, I flex and it's like half the size. Yo, he saw my drip and stole it. It's true. He was like, I I, I watched some BB tag streams and uh this guy has a good good thing going on, and now he's flexing on him. Oh, makes me so upset. Makes me so upset. And he's really good at Tekken. He's a Tekken God Omega with this character. Like, damn. I got fucked, chat. Like, can you believe this shit? It's not right. It's not okay. I'm a little upset. <laughs> Fight for who claims to look first. I'll play this guy in Guilty Gear Strive. I'll play this man in Guilty Gear Strive. Because if I fight for it in real life, I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> See how big this man is? Alright, cool. We're gonna stop looking at him. I'm fucking upset. Alright, so the news that broke when I was in the bathroom before the stream start, I saw this. Man looking swole, he's looking too swole. It's unfair. It's not cool. The only time you'll hear me say shit's unfair, that's unfair, man. He stole my look and like he's he's like gigantic. Alright, so this is happening. Mortal Kombat 10 MKX is getting a Twitch. Rivals Tournament, led by Maximilian, hosted by Mr. Aquaman. If you guys wanted to play more MKX, that's happening. You know, I'm really happy that they're keeping some old MK games alive. We streamed this a couple of weeks back. People didn't like my Devora. I like my Devora, but you guys didn't like my Devora. It's cool. 
it's all right. It's okay to be upset because I was real fucking lame. Anyways, this is happening. So if you guys wanted to play some MKX and there's an open qualifier, go for it. Swole goes, absolutely. I'm going to get bigger than Chanel. Those words that order. Fuck my Devora. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Busting out to the next part of the stream. We're done looking at shit on a browser. Although you want to brought it back. I want the chicken wings, right? I want that shit, that muscle over here, right? I want to just flex and just have that thing pop out like a bat. All right. Now I'm like, Batman. Yeah, I got Batman shirt. <laughs> Anyways, that's disgusting, right? I, you know, I, I'm I'm I'm, con I'm consistently impressed and disgusted by the chicken wings perpetually. You know, the, the chicken wing webbing muscle here, like it's both impressive and disgusting to me. Whatever. All right, so the next thing we want to talk about, we're busting out the notepad for the notepad section of the stream. Where's my notepad at? All right, so the first topic we want to talk about from the notepad section is Battle for the Grid. I've been trying to get you guys to play Battle for the Grid because it's crossplay and fucking uh, rollback, but no one plays this shit because it's like, oh, no one likes Power Rangers. So Chun Li is in, guys. Chun Li, look at a sick ass phoenix costume all right she's looking beautiful you gotta tell me this shit's you know, you're, you're asleep on this cool ass costume mm, this shit looks hype but you know what doesn't look hype is this shit chun li angel glow angel angel grove class 93 you know and, and I, I i saw people i saw people in fucking twitter going like hey she looks great she's looking super thick He's looking hella thick in his costume. And I was like, are, are we looking at the same thing? Are we fucking looking at the same thing? Because it reminds me of this shit. Exactly, Glav. Exactly. MECI flashbacks. What's the difference? I can't tell. It's the same picture. It's the same picture. <laughs> it's the same picture, guys. I don't know, man. Like, it's a little rough. Keep, keep, keep the helmet on. Keep the helmet on, boo. <laughs> but I, I am hyped brings up the pam office beam uh oh i don't know that one you're looking at another game of rollback i hope it's battle for the grid or that pony game no one it's probably the pony game ryu looks clean though ryu ryu Ru does look pretty good you know, good looking man all right so you know hopefully with Ru and chun coming to uh coming to Battle for the grid, more people consider checking this out. I do like playing the game a lot. I do like playing the game a lot. Um, but no no one I know plays. Except Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk plays that game. Low Punch tried it once and liked it. It's something you'll post on Discord later. It sounds good, Smack. We'll check it out later. Alright, so the next the next topic is another game we played on the stream in the past. It's a game I personally really, really like and I'm decent at. S rank, baby. S rank, um, but the net code is trash. So recently, Grand Blue, the uh, uh, side games, they had an interview with this um, I don't know whatever whatever interviewer person, and they the topic of rollback got brought up. So in case uh, instead of me trying to remember it from memory, I'm just gonna pull it up. All right, so. The feature of rollback netcode has taken a spotlight recently due to the pandemic causing many tournaments to be online only. Arc System Works has mentioned recently they were looking into adding rollback to their older titles. Thanks to the positive reception of Guilty Gear Strive, has the possibility of rollback being added to Grand Blue vs. Chain from when you when we asked you last year? So God help you if Grand Blue gets it first? So, all right, it's, it's, it's not good news. I just, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So here's what the Grand Blue people said. We want to add it, but there are circumstances that prevent us from easily changing something that was originally designed for a delay-based system. There are some recent examples of older titles that have had rollback netcode implemented in them, but every game is different. So we cannot say that the cost, that's the important word here, the cost to do so would be the same for us as it has been for them. But with the current trend being rollback netcode and with Strive garnering good reviews, we feel like it's practically become a must-have. That's important too. That's important too. Although we may feel that way, we cannot comment on whether or not we will implement it for Grand Blue versus. All right. So like, yeah, if Grand Blue gets a Street Fighter is over, all the Street Fighter crowds can be like, yo, this Grand Blue game is sick. We got one hit confirms. We got old people confirms. 
Grand Blue versus two, definitely gonna get it. 100% gonna get it. But Grand Blue versus one is looking unlikely. They're like, yo, we just like sitting on this mountain of cash here at Grand Blue Gaming. So you know what? You fighting, you fighting game non gotcha peasants with your no money. Whatever, man. Deal with it until Grand Blue versus two. That's the vibe I got from that message, right? It's like, yo, w when you guys start playing our gacha game, that's when we'll put rollback. Earn it, bitches. And I'm like, oh, that's really hurtful, Grand Blue people, side games. Um, so, all right. <laughs> so my heartbroken aside, there is something that restores my feelings, and that's this next topic we're gonna talk about. It's it's Wednesday, after all. It's Wednesday, my dudes. So naturally, we have a new silhouette. A new silhouette. I don't know what's going on with that hands there. Looks like it looks like someone's wearing mittens. I love mittens. Makes me want to clap. Yeah, you guys ever have mittens on? You just want to clap? No, just me. It's Leona. It's a fight stick. I don't know what's going on there. It looks like mittens to me. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, it's like 95% certainty that it's Le Leona or Kasumi. Though, like, Kasumi doesn't really rock this pose too often, and her hand is down here. This kind of looks like the elbow bendy hand. Looks like the elbow bendy hand, right? So it's probably Leona with mittens. It's probably Leona with mittens. Yo, that design. Leona is super sick. One, one of the coolest, coolest characters ever. Uh, really hard to play, oddly aerial in a, you know, ground fight it, but yeah, definitely Leona. I'm looking forward to checking out the trailer. I'm wondering if she's gonna have the super she had from 96. Probably not, but it should be Vanessa. God, if we just clip this hair here, I hope Vanessa makes it. She's super popular. I got one more picture. So like, we see Leona here with her ponytail and her gloves and everything. It's, it's very very likely gonna be Leona very likely all right so I got three more topics we're doing really poorly on time the the, the blaze blue crown's gonna be really upset at me this is going a little bit longer so the next topic is something that I wanted to talk to you guys about as you guys know we do have beef on this channel we have beef on this channel um, I encourage it. We, we have an entire series called The Grudge where you guys um, beat the shit out of each other. So the topic of FGC beef uh, came up on Twitter all week last week and people were going back and forth. Is beef good? Is beef bad? I'm a vegetarian, etc, etc. Um, and it could be Leona since we already know she's in the game, but we haven't got her trailer yet. Yeah, I would love to see her trailer tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to pull up the post right here. Um, Big Bird of Street Fighter V fame was like, FG FGC beef is funny and entertaining until personal insults are thrown in and it's not about the game anymore. And I agree. I agree. You know, I, I think beef is probably like the more violent, more violent term, right? You actually hate the person. You don't just hate the way they play. You just hate them. And then Brian F is like, there's something to be said for short-term game versus long-term game too for the scene. I'm honestly concerned for beef to turn to bullying, which could turn off new players from working hard and joining the fray. I mean, I feel like for you guys, right? Like, you know, us mid-level players, like a little bit of beef is good. It's entertaining. You love watching that shit. You know, Viscount versus LTG. Uh, we got K Brad versus Wolf Crone. We got uh, Kane Blue River versus uh, F Champ. You know, these crazy rivals, Turquito versus Dio. That's a rivalry. That's not beef. So I, I think beef would be if they actively hate the other person. Like they, they can't be in the same room together. They're going to throw hands. They're going to throw hands. Just like, uh, dang, it's fun until someone gets shot. Ooh. I mean, I don't I don't think anyone ever got shot in FGC. I definitely, back in the day, people would throw hands. Would throw hands in arcades. But like... Yeah, yo, it, it used to be scary because you used to be afraid that if you beat someone too long in the arcade, they're gonna kick your ass in real life. That was the thing. It, it'll train you mentally and prep for more battles in the future. I, I think, you know, rivalries are good. I think actively hating somebody is bad. And, um, all right, so we got one, one more, one more tweet from Rob TV. You know him as a, uh, a host and, uh, co former competitor for Street Fighter V. Uh, it's weird seeing so many people like Aliyun and Brian's. I don't like FGC beef tweets. Those two may genuinely feel that way, but 99.9% .9 of the, oh, scroll too far. 99.9% .9 of the FTC and the internet is general and front and center for drama. People just like feeling morally superior when they can, and it's true. 
all those rivalries it made every set mad hype i i got hyped for that shit i, I loved it and then you know that's why we do the grudge on this channel and then finally we have someone we love talking about here we got the man ltg here and he's all like fgc cause and causes the internet to stalk you for five years <laughs> plus now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. it's true. We we talk about this man a lot just just because of all the beef he started with people. And finally, Ali Yoon, which was one of the original um, people that talked about the subject matter. FTC beef is never entertaining to you. You just want to see good matches. Fake online aggressivity is for middle school. So you know, I I think I think it's a fun topic to think about. Um, pers personally, I like watching it. You know. I think that if you actively hate another person and you really want to beat them, that, that makes that makes it juicier. Right? That, that, that gives a flavor. Uh, wait till he learns about wrestling. I think the difference between wrestling and the FGC is wrestling, even though it's real, it's scripted, right? They got we got we got scripted promos, but like in, in the FGC, on the other hand, I, I feel like a lot of times people actually end up hating another person. And, you know, I think that that might be the key difference here. All right, so finally, 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 the last topic I wanted to talk about today is running long, long sets for people. And, you know, like how, how well it helps you understand another person. I saw this tweet from former EVO champion from Marvel's Capcom 3, the Scons. Also, they got a head beat from LTG. Going like, I learned more about some dudes playing a first to 50 in MEC2 than I did by being their friends for five plus years. In a casual friendship, it can take years before you learn how someone reacts to pain, stress, fear, anger. You may never get there. In MEC2, it only takes a couple of hours. So I, 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 I talked about the other topic. Um, the other topic was, um, which fighting game you felt best expressed yourself and a lot of people said Tekken people were like you know Tekken lets me express myself in a lot of ways um, th Today's topic however is um, That feeling you get after running a long set for somebody you ever ran a uh, first to 50 for somebody and you're like Oh, man, I really understand how this guy thinks I or, or this girl thinks like I know how they react to situations I know how adaptable Wait, what happened? Your internet cut off? You have to watch the BLD. It's gonna be on YouTube this week. But we're talking about how first to fifties help you understand individuals on a more like deep level. Maybe beyond casual conversations, you're in that head. And I agree. Like there, there's so many people I became tighter over the years just from running long sets. It's like, you know, I, I could I could see your hard work that you put in to learn, or I could see how you adapt. Yo, hi YouTube. Yo, who someone wants a first to fifty? Hello talk is like I first to 50 that bear fella, and I feel like you guys got to know each other a little bit better. I didn't first to 50 lap, but I did run over five first to tens with her, so I, I feel like I understand her pretty well, and vice versa. But anyways, not after watching your troll first to five. Oh, blow ups! Where's the chest fire button? Bam! Oof! Yikes! Yo, everybody's getting blown up by troll though. That was ridiculous. All right, that, that wraps it up for the week. If you guys see anything you want to talk about on uh, Mojo Dojo, on the Mojo Dojo, you guys should definitely post it in the Discord. If it's good, I'll talk about it next week. But I figured this is a good way to wrap up everything and get you guys to talk about some FGC topics, play Battle for the Grid, um, and play with more robot games. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, follow and subscribe and, you know, all that fun YouTube stuff. And...